It is time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Hello, Paul. Hello there. Let's first start with football and the South Korean national team back, into, uh, back in action tomorrow night. Yes, uh, facing Iraq at home. Um, it's the last World Cup qualifier of this October international break. The first was played on Thursday, beating Jordan away 2-0. Thanks to goals from E.J. Song and Oh Hyun Gyu for his first for the national team. The game on Tuesday night, though, is at Yongin Mida Stadium and not Seoul World Cup Stadium, as is normally the case for World Cup qualifiers. The fixture was moved due to the current state of the playing surface in Seoul, with lots having been said about the home of FC Seoul and the national team, including by Son Ung Min and Jesse Lingard. Iraq, though, they sit level on seven points with Korea in Group B, meaning a win for either team would give them a, a clear lead. Mm -hmm. It was an important win on Thursday, but it came at a cost of two players picking up injuries, unfortunately. Yes, you're right. Om Ji Song and Huang Yi Chan were both taken off injured. Huang went off early in the first half with an ankle issue. Om came on in his place, but was then replaced himself six minutes into the second half by Be Juno due to a knee injury. Be later got the assist for Oh Hyun Gyu to make it 2-0. Two players have been called up instead. Lee sung -woo is in for a first call-up in five years. He admitted to the media on Monday that, because it was so last minute, he couldn't he could only get a standing ticket for the KTX train up to Seoul from Jeonju. His Jeonbuk teammate, Moon Son Min, has also been called up. Son is, of course, out injured, but posted on Instagram on Sunday to say that he is back soon. And uh, staying with football, K-League returns this Friday with the final round. Yes, that's right. The league table in K-League 1 is split into two, Final A and Final B. In Final A, Ulsan HD, Gimchon Sangmu, Gangwon FC, Pohang Steelers, FC Seoul and Suwon FC will play each other once more and compete for the championship and to earn AFC Champions League qualification. Likewise, the six teams in Final B will play each other once more and no one is safe from relegation, including the higher-ranked Gwangju FC and Jeju United. The bottom four of Introng United, Dejon Hanna Citizen, Jumbo Hyundai Motors and Daegu FC are separated by just six points. One team will go down automatically and two more will have to go through the promotion relegation playoffs, including a potentially nine times champions Jumbo Hyundai Motors. Now let's talk about baseball. We're getting closer to the KBO League a Korean series. Yes, we are indeed. The playoffs got underway on Sunday. The Samsung Lions beat the LG Twins 10-4 in what was the first postseason meeting between these two old rivals in 22 years. The Twins had beaten KT Wiz to make it this far, but now have work to do to get back into the series. Now, Game 2 was supposed to begin tonight at 6.30, but has been called off due to the rain. The winners of this week's series will face the Kia Tigers in the Korean series. The Tigers won the regular season championship and earned a bye through to the Korean series. All right. Thanks for the info, Paul. See you next week. Thank you. See you.